Hello and welcome, Cosmic Quantum Travelers. I hope you're doing good. It's quite fiery. <laughs> so we have a lot of solar activity. We had um, several M-class flares, some of them quite close to X-class level. Uh, plenty of C-class flares. We have a lot more solar activity coming. So solar magnetic, solar windstorm conditions, as well as um, more solar flares can be expected. So the fireworks are well and firmly on as this is truly, <laughs> this is where the final heart mind ignites the cosmic Christ seed, permanent God seed atom, the heart fully burst, fully wide open through the frequency of true divine love that we are. It's a state of consciousness. It's a frequency we embody, we carry. And again, it's beyond just being love and light it's being your true real raw self fully embodied your god self at one with all as well as in every now moment a different aspect of you may shine forth and sparkle but it's your higher and lower self shadow and light fully unified as one all of your multidimensional aspects and that allows you to shine with all the rainbow colors that you truly are your real true energy signature frequency your own unique expression of that god source consciousness which doesn't necessarily look necessarily look like they or many teachings people you know uh, have told us along the way whether it's in our old 3d reality or spiritual community you know all of the things we think we need to be uh, we very much keep focusing on the problems instead of seeing the perfection and all and keep emptying ourselves of all of the judgments and belief systems. We actually dive deeper into them. And that's the issue because it's the opinions and belief systems and judgments that literally separate us. So the more you go into compartmentalization and details, the devil lies in the details, fear, so whenever you're like, you know, your whole belief system is ultimately based in separation, polarity consciousness, right, wrong, good, bad, this is like this, that, this is like that, and you think you have it all figured out, in that, you know, that type of compartmentalization, you further deep dive, further tangle up your, your mind, your um, neural pathways um, in the programming that the old mind matrix is has been based upon so that's been laser removed thankfully so the solar energies also some schumann resonance spikes are some of the symbolism within the matrix this false simulation uh, that are giving us some you know messages some of us you know i just look sometimes at something and it just gives me a message and that's what i then transmit uh, it doesn't necessarily mean the same thing for everyone. That's how we decipher our own hologram. It becomes you, you know, you literally are walking around in a living oracle, so to say. So you are reading your hologram, your reality, the way, you know, through your own kind of experiences, the same as we believe different things to mean different things. Like <laughs> I have had a hedgehog turning up for the last few nights and I looked up the symbolism and it's so cute. And, um, but you know, what maybe comes to mind was literally not what, um, in a way I was reading up on then. I just quickly like, actually I bring a couple of this ones up because it was so cute and it really kind of fits. So it's a petite animal with many positive attributes and lessons for supporting your spiritual quest. The critter has an intense symbolic connection with motherhood, inner peace and pure happiness. Now we like that. Hedgehog could well be the most carefree mammal in the world unless it feels threatened. So again, we're just la 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 la. Unless you're threatened, then roll up in a ball, your sun, diamond, sun cell, all the spikes out, okay? And it's literally because they also say in certain um, areas stay connected with the sun. Because imagine it's the sun, all the sun rays going out, and you are fully lit up, light body, you fully healed, okay? You don't need to defend yourself. Your defense is you shining pure source light. You being in full alignment with God's source, knowing yourself as one of source gives you full protection, provision, support. You knowing yourself as the love, like as God sees you. Perfectly imperfect. 
and you start to see the perfection in all things and God in all things, people, places. So unless we feel threatened because we can not ascend, we cannot receive the infinite blessings in abundance, which is love ultimately hitting us now. It's here now. If we're in defensive uh, mode, trying to protect ourselves, we can't. Again, if we need to defend ourselves, if we need to fight, we can. But there's a time and a place, a situation for that. We're not going to be, again, as we have been, because we're so used to being hunted down, literally <laughs> killed, raped, all of the stuff, tortured. For many eons, we can't even remember the golden timelines. So, but, I mean, you need to just keep emptying yourself truly of it right now, okay? Because when we've learned all of our lessons, you just keep letting it go. You need to align yourself fully with your real, raw, true self. Walk it, be it be that embodiment of it, but that's you following your intuition. Deep down, we all know what's right or wrong. We don't need a book to tell us and to try and divide further into, you know, trying to look up what, what's reality like? What does this mean? What does that mean? Yeah, sure, we can look something up. What be hold on to it lightly? And then maybe what do I connect with a hedgehog? Although I haven't really thought about it much before. <laughs> anyway, so, you know, when he gets threatened, he packs itself into a tiny ball, a tiny quills, over 5,000 of them. Um, and yeah, you know, so he's chilled out unless, you know, he needs to defend himself. And that's a pretty good defense. So you as your diamond sun self, again, it's like any negative lower energy is trying to get you, you're just being pulverized. Like, I know, I don't need to put much of my energy into clearing my field out or protecting it anymore. It's literally because I've done so much of it over the years as well. It's like, it's just automatic. Everything has been automated. So on the 16th also, so we had the automation now, how it was before with negative alien technology. Now that the new crystal liquid light technologies are coming fully online with us, as us, with our light body technology, okay? That's my light body fully coming online. You just can't see it fully yet, okay? Many of us can feel it. This is also where, you know, a lot of the intensity comes in. But what did I want to say about that? God, now I keep forgetting that sentence, what I'm saying. Anyway, your light body fully ignited. It's eternal. It's ailment free. If you have things coming up in the meantime, your body just needs to rest. You ascending and many have actually, oh yeah. I keep jumping up around. But anyway, that's what's going to be quantum as usual. So those who took part in the last call, again, thank you so much. And this is finalizing right now with this video, so to say, that kind of the 72 hours after where still a lot is happening in the field, as it did. So on the 16th, um, literally, I could see, oh, yeah, how the, you know, as the new organic crystalline liquid light technologies are coming online literally from inside of us with inside the planet because again we all together make up the planetary body and project it out okay so what happens within us the forerunners with the codes and the keys of the original founders founder races okay that have created reality as we again bring this all online this all comes online and is being realigned within the planet this is how this works. This is why we don't need to look out there. We just be busy with ourselves, aligning our, ourselves, okay? So now the organic technologies, crystalline technologies coming fully online, it's now automating the clearing of the field and us literally like everything, including ourselves, becoming the grail point. So this also ties into thank you so much for those who were part of the last activation and group call. The Ascended Masterclass, Cosmic Emerald, Crystal Heart Healing and Ignition. I know some people had issues with accessing the Zoom replay as it seemed like the password wasn't working, although it was fine. And most could access it, but more than usual would have had like these technical glitches. Now, I generally have noticed interference in the field. Even my mother was asking me, you know, kind of if I was making videos. I was like, yeah, I have. Maybe check my channel <laughs> anyway. But you know what I mean? Like liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, everything that can help my channel is, is always greatly appreciated. But again, as we know the times we're in at this point, I'm just laughing at all of this. Because truly everything we do is so beyond this little 3D reality anyway. 
So you just need to do you, speak your truth, notice like this is so in the back, like the main message of that activation, that call, I can highly recommend it. You can still access it um, below in the description box. If you click um, kind of the first link, Kofi link to my Kofi website, where you can download the replay. It's over five hours long. We did a light language assisted activation, truly the most powerful yet as we keep powering up. Of course, they also become more powerful than truly are. My activations are very powerful. You can also access some free activations in the description box also if you want to try them out. Um, but basically, some had issues with the password. Again, it was kind of technical glitches, interference. I'm just neutral. It caused me ad more emails, admin, you know, as anyone needed. Um, but eventually, if it doesn't temporarily work, just try out later and it should work. I think everybody's got access to it now. So it is done. Usha cannot. So clearing out any and all remaining, like the invaders, the realities reset, the invaders disappear, fall away as you withdraw your consent, as you withdraw your attention. Ultimately, this is how the quantum field works. Reality works. As you withdraw your attention, your energy to that which you don't want to co-create, it collapses in the field. Okay? You need to focus on you, your own alignment with source. Everything comes from there. The invaders disappear. Organic reality is returned through you as you become fully empty. For me right now, it's constantly just emptying myself. Any worse doubts, fears, unless you can do something about it in that now moment, practically or whatever else, you know, to sort it out, whatever is coming up. Just let it go. Literally, like little clouds return to source, go. Keep emptying yourself. Stop recreating these fucked up realities. Become very aware. This is all about true mastery over the mind of what we're co-creating again together in true divine union with the heart as you fully surrender to the heart, to true divine love, to God. Fear is the opposite of God. You know, it represents the devil. That's what the fear matrix is based upon. So whenever you give into fear, you keep feeding this reality. So be very aware of the thoughts you're running, how you're talking to yourself, what you're creating all the time, especially now. The good and the bad will be massively amplified. So, you know, you can't have it both, fear and love. So decide already, okay? Jump all in. This is being, so then on the 18th, so I had this like, I will call them now pre vus. So they're not deja vus, they're like pre vus. So I had pre vus on the 18th. And I mentioned something like this in the last video. Again, I can highly recommend looking back on the last few videos also. Loads of keys and codes, timelessly in there. Um, so on the 18th, I had this premonition also later on in the day, like as if I, like I could literally feel, I knew I was creating something in the now moment that kind of my future self was informing me of in this now moment. Yeah. So it's the creation of a new new reality instead of you. What a deja vu de, deja vu for me would be like you are actually correcting a timeline and in that moment you're kind of having a deja vu because you're there for the kind of second, third or whatever time because you're correcting a timeline. So it's like, you know, the opposite of creating something new, you're correcting something old. That's a deja vu. So deja vu. <laughs> I just created it today. Um, because I was thinking, oh yeah, we had a group call also for our membership container, those that didn't check their email. Um, we had a group call today. Um, and we just chatted because again, this is all here. So, so the big message of that last uh, open group call activation, um, that masterclass that you can still access down below in the description box and the membership classes as well, if you want to sign up for the membership and get access to all the replays since last September. Um, depending with which tier you uh, choose. Anyway, free, free, free. We still not uh, This is where literally destiny is fulfilled. So that was the big ceiling of destiny fulfilled. So the blueprint is, is online. The next thing that I see happening is literally over the next very good chances, 24 to 48 hours, is the cosmic quantum tree of life fully igniting our hearts fully bursting, fully wide open. It's already in, it's already happening. But there is a final ignition we are, so to say, waiting for. And literally, there's just waiting, but it's like, 
It's like I've ordered something for my daughter online and it's a bit like this. It's like, and then I give you the delivery date of something between four to 14 working days, which is anywhere between like a week and like a month. whatever. So, and it's like, it's instead of her haunting me now the whole time, like, is it there yet? Is it there yet when it's going to arrive? It's like, you know, it's coming. You just don't know when it's going to be a nice surprise. So you're waiting, but it's like a nice waiting. You take care of yourself. You do whatever. In a now moment, everything is known. Right now, truly, keep letting it all go. Keep emptying yourself. Any doubts, worries, fears, any worries. Stop co-creating this bullshit, okay? Give it to God. Anything you can't sort out, you know, sort out whatever you can in the now moment, if you can. Anything you can't, sur surrender to God or come back to it when it's time. Stop living in the past, worrying about the future. Live in the now. This is where your multidimensional self fully comes in. Everything that needs to be known is known. And we're talking about this again today in a group call. It's like, and in the last one, it's just like, you know, we're so used to this problem fixing, finding fault. Like we're so, you know, it's this whole flip of our consciousness from negative to positive. So instead of finding fault, focusing on the problems, things to fix, it's like, it's already healed. It's already fixed. Stop letting go of the problem fixing mode. You know, I know this very well, but it's like right now, it's a great freedom as you keep letting it go. Surrender to source. You become fully empty. The solutions will appear. The answers will appear. I've been having some really high level multidimensional downloads. I can't quite yet put into words about how the quantum realities work, our multidimensional DNA, how this all interacts. Um, not for me trying to figure it out or downloading anything. It's just, it just happens as I keep just letting everything go. I'm not trying to fix, figure out anything anymore. Especially any negative, fearful feelings, keep letting go, surrendering. I mean, whatever I need to feel, I feel in the now moment. Again, you let it come up and out. Everybody's still, you know, resolving wherever they need to be. I know I'm already ascending. And I also know I'm like, you know, a step ahead because of the blueprint I'm carrying. So, but I also know what I'm accessing and feeling. Like also take review of everything you have already achieved. The the stuff that's priceless. So the inner peace that surpasses all understanding, balance, harmony, mastery over your heart, mind, having healed your traumas, your wounds, or ne nearly being there, believe me. Okay, we're all there now, okay? No matter where you think you are, you just need to quantum leap and jump and stop focusing on the issues, the feelings. Keep seeing everything, everyone here. Stop projecting our toxicity. Keep overwriting, overlaying with true organic reality. The only real there really is. This is the only time you speak truth, ultimately, as well as you can call the spade a spade, but still bring it, keep bringing it back to the organic, to the real. Instead of keep refueling refocusing putting your energy into the old realities i mean they're fully collapsing now so what happened on the 18th oh yeah so the pressure view was basically so i could see the cosmic mother father child reunited as a happy family this means it's within us the holy trinity fully reunited in true divine law of hierogamic union at one this is all layers and levels of all multidimensional realities, realms, worlds, fully healed. It's here now. The heart healing, the nervous system, the morphogenetic field, the tribal shield, it's all here. There's literally nothing more to do. This is why my destiny has been fulfilled, literally. I just need to sit, I just need to sit back and let my package or ships come in, so to say. And again, everybody still, for each person, this is different. Every person needs to listen to their own inner guidance of what they still need to do in order to fully align them with their highest heroic version of self. Okay, to turn each one of us from a victim into a hero. And we've all been victims here to different degrees. Even the victimizers, they started out, out as victims. Okay, so let's not forget. Only hurt people hurt people. Bring the deepest compassion in as well as take no bullshit. It's a both end. That's the sweet spot, the middle path. <clears throat> so on the 18th, I saw this, the Holy Family, happy. I can see it in my own life, all my relationships, like there's harmony, there's balance. I know that the mother-child bond has healed. I can see this in my own relationship with my daughter. 
it's beautifully harmonized. It's all healed. Also with my own mother, there is no, you know, outstanding issue. You know, there's just harmony. There's just peace. And again, this is world peace. Let's actually starting from inside of us. I know I'm now embodying the consciousness of the unity field. And I also know that I help you access this through you connecting with my field, the activations, the calls. And this is also where many people fall asleep and get quite sleepy during the calls and activations because I transmit, transmit very high gamma rays, cosmic rays, basically, you know, straight from the Godhead, pure God source consciousness, the divine. So, and again, we are here to do this all, to be the eye of the storm, to be in the center, to be the lighthouse, to guide everyone home. To basically, as we watch everything without judgment, judgments and, and, and opinions, no more judgments, no more opinions, let go of the belief systems, this is literally what separates us, keep emptying yourself, whatever you're perceiving, keep emptying yourself, and then just literally, as if you're like in a big long meditation where you try to not kind of think of anything, it's just like, you know, you, you basically now, your day-to-day -day life is a walking meditation, where again, what needs to come in in the now moment needs to be dealt with will be dealt with but you don't need to worry about anything else it's just a flow because especially now there's not much to plan because it's very impermanent everything within the quantum field you can very like instantly collapse and co-create realities you know they can instantly ignite spring forth in front of you as well as you just collapse them as you withdraw your attention so no more fighting right in the end. You fight nothing anymore. You let God do your fighting as you just stand in your truth. Be your true self. And alignment with real truth. Speak real truth. All of this untruth fully dissolves all around you. It's been projected out from inside of you. So stop fighting the out there. The war is within and then projected out. This is where it comes back to. And this is where world peace is arising from right now. The same as the truth. And then from beneath and all around us. So there's no escape, especially not from the truth. So that happened on the 18th. So truly the, the true full return of the Holy Trinity, the Holy Family, the happy Holy Family, which is the core of any society, which has been, you know, obviously been tried to be broken apart. But again, it's happening within you. The divine masculine, feminine, birthing your inner golden christ child the children fully healed healed through us healing our own inner child all of our inner wounds and traumas as we fully open up to the love that we are through emptying ourselves through us in full alignment with source real truth and then you see yourself through the eyes of god and you let god of let go of all the judgments and opinions we're not here to judge people you need to see how reality is laid out even in spiritual religious teachings how much judgment and compartmentalization and good and bad right wrong is there you need to transcend it all as well as you know you have discernment but there's no more resistance in your field to anything the same with physical symptoms okay the more you can relax into them the more you stop resisting any of this the easier this goes we're all going to get there but like how easy this goes is down to you and still, everybody decides their own, you know, path, as well as <laughs> there's no real free will. Um, because you're either being maneuvered or being, you know, just kind of on autopilot based on your previous wounds and traumas that are constantly being re-triggered and, you know, overlaid by a thick layer of mind control and ultra <laughs> mind control programming which constantly is just like it's very you know kind of predictable how you react until you deprogram yourself but again who even decides that when you wake up what you decide to do which path are you taking you know what i mean so we come back to sliding doors and this is what deja vu are about and all the timeline corrections where we keep correcting everything until we found the highest outcome on behalf of all so, but you need to transcend your own individual ego self, your false identity that's attached to your identity, to your storyline, that anything is happening to you or, you know, someone else is doing something to you. It's like, yes, on that level of reality, that's all, you know, happening within the imagination of the one consciousness within this movie, the dream field. Where was I going? But... 
Uh, but you transcend it. You, you know, you need to generally, I, I can't remember the beginning of the sentence. I had to say earlier on the call. It's just the, the now is taking over. Um, no, I lost the plot now. If it, um, the plot line, if it comes back, if it's supposed to come back, it comes back. But otherwise, it just is what it is, quite frankly. Perfectly imperfect, okay? So um, my apologies there for losing the thread. Again, there's nothing to worry about. The more relaxed you can be, the more like people, for example, who were also part of the call or the last couple of calls, they've also been, you know, sharing dreams of flying and then also having the same experience. I had a few weeks ago of this kind of test run of you feeling you're ascending and kind of can feel quite scary, but it's like, you know, it's a test run. As well as, again, any kind of heart openings, any kind of physical symptoms, the more you can relax into this. You know, again, follow your guidance. If you feel you need to go to the doctor or any kind of, you know, other support your body is guiding you to, your body knows what it needs. You just need to stop worrying about it, okay? If you need to, for example, lie down or do you want to go running and be active, your body is basically forcing you to just lie down because this is where this will happen, okay? Your body fully relaxed, fully receiving these upgrades, full relaxation allows your higher self to take over and you in non-resistance. This is again also where many people fall asleep or get sleepy or drift off during my activations or calls. It just goes in deeper. It really does. It's like, you know, when you, um, you know, the subliminal mind basically um, takes over because your your conscious mind is not trying to figure it out. Am I listening correctly? And am I doing it all correctly? Like with my activations, you literally just need to switch off, relax and let go and just let your higher self take over. <laughs> You're not supposed to figure the shit out. I mean, this is especially what light language is about. You know, you, you like there's so much that's because I use English and light language. Um, like there's so much that's happening that's not being said, you know what I mean, of what's been activated and cleared. Like it's really multidimensional. And each person always gets what they need. And it's so quantum and keeps working for long after, especially but this one was and is very powerful. And as I said, completing now. So hearts are about to burst wide open. The cosmic quantum tree of life or plasma light body's reality is about to shift physically. That's all I can see. I just need to literally sit back and wait for this all to unfold, so to say, as well as, you know, I'm fully present in any now moment. You know, mission upgrades have happened all along. When people don't step forth up and do certain things, others need to step up or, you know, the field is constantly correcting them, itself. So, you know, there's always, I'm always open for change. Whatever I'm being shown, I need to do or just be, you know, like I know when to just wait and hold space and hold the frequency and hold the vision you know there's a lot of that um you know especially for the forerunners where well, everyone you know is catching up and we're all together getting to the required frequency for the planet to fully ignite but it's already on the way it's already happening again it's your perception it's like the revelation is already happening the ascension is fully on the way we're already ascending okay it's your perception of it it's like sensitivity is our superpower it's our extra sensory perception gifts again everything is upside down here they told us it's our weakness you know it's like yeah it can seem like a weakness whilst you're absorbing everything this, especially the bigger your blueprint is the more access you have to everything believe me i know what it feels like you feel everything so it can be like, you know, a big weight to carry as well as it's your true superpower once you know and, you know, flip it around as everything. Okay, all of our challenges, there have been ultimately gifts, the curses, blessings. You need to flip it all around now. Claim your true power. Claim your victim story and turn it into the hero's journey fulfilled. Your destiny fulfilled now. As you fully rise and fully quantum merge align with your true, real, raw, eternal God self. It's always here, always present. The only thing preventing you is you believing it's not so and you having limiting belief systems and thought forms still running. So they have been fully wiped, don't you worry? Oh yeah, so what also happened on the 18th was then I could literally feel it in my own body. All remaining timelines, fallen timelines, reality has been fully absorbed, returned to the cosmic mother's womb. 
dissolved into nothingness and so quickly this is literally completing now as this completes again realities fully shift the last veil visible veil so to say fully lifting magic magic time <laughs> okay this is where the real magic becomes truly real so believing is seeing as well as this is just all unfolding and uh, there's nothing more to fix ah oh, yeah one more big thing that also came up especially during our group call and during this equinox so there was this whole feeling in my field and then somebody else in the group shared it um that they had the same feeling that during equinox as it was kind of you know striking the exact time of the equinox i was awake anyway i had no desire or guidance to tune into the field and work with it which i usually would do in one way shape form or another it's like it's done destiny is fulfilled it's all here also another reason why this is coming in the same as i'm not planning right now any future calls because we're fully collapsing the start quantum quantum standing wave function fully fully completely in the still point the zero point field where there's nothing else to be done again one step at a time if it comes up and again things don't shift in the field as they need to and uh, who knows everything is always possible anything so anyway right now i'm not planning anything we're fully collapsing the quantum standing wave function as well as another point is everybody right now is focusing on the next eclipses the um easter you know all of these things any of us who've been here for a while okay now it's always the next thing the next date and there's always oh it's this it's this it's this message and that message okay with all due respect all of these things equinoxes eclipses the solstices all of this stuff okay i mean again where the planets are the solar system it's not in its true christic order shape okay there have been cataclysm the moon isn't really real it's not an organic planet um and some planets missing axial tilts planets not in the right place where they used to be okay so all the time when we are focusing on these things we keep feeding this false matrix simulation so we are i'm being shown this is like naturally just arising in the field me not wanting to tune into the energies although again you can sometimes because there are loads of people meditating or you know doing things in the field and you can kind of tune into that powerful energy that's being released in the field so i'm not saying there's anything right or wrong as such but i'm just saying for those who resonate with this a big message right now is fully withdraw your attention from any future events all of them ultimately especially now this whole hype around the eclipses and easter or whatever else is coming up i don't even know because this is keep because we are fully collapsing time space and gravity here this is for the real forerunners those who really resonate with what i speak about which i know is very much ahead of its time so to say okay so this is also why not that many people resonate with it again we hold the codes these are also the masculine rod codes fully again time has already collapsed that was in the new year and again it takes a while for this to fully then you know become physicalized but this is where literally the physical and matter have been fully unified as one this has been fully ignited in the field all the keys and codes the blueprints is coming fully online it's already here there's no more stopping this the tsunami is here it's rolling over everything and everyone i can see myself as literally on top of the tsunami wave and just floating along with it it's not affecting me but i know it's washing away especially as we're fully as the cosmic monad the core of the core the original founders magic gray queens and kings the cosmic dragons fully return to their real true organic self the core energy signature frequency everything clicks in, into place because it brings in everything into place everything comes in alignment into alignment from there so this is where biggest wildest dreams become fulfilled truly it's already here i can feel it so also yeah so take review like i can see in my own life you know my relationships again my destiny ultimately the blueprint i came here to return the mother child bond the you know all of this it's it's all fulfilled ultimately again what i want to see the last bit is the tribes fully reunited dancing around the campfire so that is obviously the physicalization of that dream fulfilled but i know it's here i don't need physical proof for me to notice i know it because it's here 
And again, that out there might try to convince you otherwise. You need to see through the illusions. Once you see through them, you know them for what they are. You're looking at a false matrix. So for me, all the focus is on all new realities, all new creations, weaving them together from the inside out. But this is like truly where you receive this from deep within. You ignite it from deep within. And the frequency is true divine love. And that again means many things. And it starts and comes back with you. You know, your own relationship to self. Again, your own inner masculine feminine. The Christ child rebirth. The child is coming out now to play. Is having fun with the matrix. Once the heart, nervous system is fully healed. That's just joy. Because all the heaviness is fully cle cle cleared. All the heaviness is fully cleared. All the density, miasma, all the reversals. It's all here. As you fully align with our real true self, all the imposters, invaders literally just disappear, all false realities. As we return our real true self, real true, true reality returns through us. Those that carry the codes and the divine blueprints. This is the responsibility and accountability you carry. Because you carry those blueprints. So remember who you are and all you need to be is your real true self. It's a privilege. Many people died for this over the eons. You know, all you need to do is overcome your own fears of being ostracized, abandoned, rejected, which is not really true once you see reality for what it really is. All of the heartbreak fully healing as you see reality for what it really is, as you transcend the personal. It's like, yes, you take responsibility. It's like you take responsibility, accountability for all of creation, everything. Like, wow, I have created this, like, as from within the oneness. And then you let it all go within the nothingness. It's the both end because nobody's doing anything here. It's the both end. But you also need to see, yeah, where you've been off. And again, you're, you fully, <laughs> your heart online is your conscience, you know, is speaking. You know when something is off. So we all know and need to bring this into alignment into our own lives. And again, this also means saying no to people, having boundaries, having discernment, as well as you don't need to have a barbed wire. And it's not our natural disposition to be constantly on a defense and protecting ourselves. As you shine your true self, your field fully healed, your wounds and traumas fully healed, that's your field sealed. Okay, this is you, Teflon, unfuckable with impenetrable because it's the higher frequencies that cancel out the lower no so i can highly recommend again the call from the 17th the details are in the description box of the ascended master class cosmic emerald crystal heart healing and ignition our return to love was the led light language assisted activation Super powerful, truly, really helps you connect with the oneness that you are, with true divine love that's returning. I really can feel it so deeply in my own field. I feel so much lighter and this is about to lift. We are about to be happy as fuck. Again, this is about to shift so powerfully. Like, if not just, I know for a few of us, definitely, if not for everyone collectively seeing a big massive shift over the next couple of days. That's what I see. So the activation that we did in the call will also help you with the soul and earth star activation and really fully activating your Kundalini, Kundalini currents. Um, the holy chalice activations, as I call them, it's kind of like the free Dantians, which for me builds a holy chalice and you kind of really return into this eternal source flows of creation and are becoming this holy chalice, the holy grail, which is constantly purifying the lower energies, returning them to source and anchoring the higher and holding this in the neutral zero point field. So you literally embodying being at one with the tri-wave uh, and the holy grail, true eternal life, fully returned through us. Again, it's us truly igniting our true divine blueprint and returning organic reality and the promise of the the diamond sun body and everybody returning to their true home and source that's the emerald orders returned mission completed it truly is here and it's all just rolling out
So the activation also helps you to connect with the Godhead, your gifts and abilities, fully retrieving your power, igniting your heart, healing your heart, your nervous system, morphogenetic field. Again, everybody picks up what they're ready for, as well as we're all now completing this as one. Okay, remember, we all fell as one, we're all rising as one. Just keep breathing through the fears. Again, listen to your body, your intuition, what you need. Also, I know I had some messages, emails. And again, what I said in my last video about messages, this doesn't just concern all messages, but generally, I can't get back to all the messages. Some I will try to get back to over the next few days. It's just, I'm very limited on that level, okay? Because I do everything myself and I just, it's energetically always a lot for me as well as there's always a lot of admin. Um, and it's like, especially with the technical glitches, <laughs> ah, I'm just looking forward to not needing to deal with this nonsense anymore um, because this technology is really stupid. Now, so let's talk abundance quickly and then I finish this. So again, count your spiritual blessings, the inner peace, the self-confidence, self-worth, self-respect, the you returning to your real true self, you no longer putting up with bullshit, you having cut out, you know, shifted your life around. Might have not be, might have not been pretty in the meantime, but it was so worth it because again, you need to make space and clear out all that not aligns with your real true self to align with that which is, you know, in alignment with your true self. So like the people, places, things that you would, you know, like in your life. Um, so these are the things we take from life to life. These are the literally priceless spiritual gifts that you can't buy with money and you take with you. They're eternal. So it's your inner spiritual power, your wisdom, the love that you are fully returned, your real true self. You return to your true self. That's a real true gift. And this is returning real true reality. That's ascension, really. So this is what you should really be grateful for now. Not sure, but you know. <laughs> Take what resonates, leave the rest. But this is you obviously connecting with abundance, but really feeling it, you know, meaning it. And also when you pray, pray for it as if it's already here, because it is, as soon as you can perceive it. It's just not up to you when and how it comes in. It's just, thank you so much for, you know, fully healing my heart, mind, body, and soul, unifying me with all of my multidimensional selves. Thank you for always protecting, providing, um, supporting me, guiding me on my path. You know, and this is truly about the path, not about the goal of where we want to get to, because especially now it's all about enjoying the journey, the new adventures, opportunities coming online. And again, instant shifts and changes, rapid physical shifts and changes are here, right? Freaking now feel into this field, the quantum field. Usu Aishka et Atanata. Now, this is where it becomes fully visible and the last curtain fully lifts, okay? And you will see us all as one have co-created all of this. No one left left to blame. That's full and final debt forgiveness, okay? And we're all free. Woohoo! That's us in true divine love. It's our return, our return to oneness. It's who we truly are, okay? Where there is no more of this blame, shame, grief, resentment, Anyone wanting to have any kind of revenge, it just doesn't exist in this field. It's total oneness. It's total clarity. It's the opposite of this. So fully let everything go, all opinions, all belief systems, all judgments truly right now. Okay, there's nothing to hold on to, but a false reality. Empty yourself for God to take over for I mean, has already. We have taken over the dream field. God has taken over the dream field. Again, it's like, you know, the wisdom I hold, the power I hold, and I know I hold a lot, it's not mine. As I become empty, God transmits it through me. But he could take it away any now moment, so to say. He, she, it, you know, the, you know what I mean? It's like, these are higher consciousness fields you can't put into words. The sooner you try, you lose the true essence of what we're speaking about. And I don't get lost in words, whether to call it God, source, or super consciousness field, truly. Like, I do not like it. It's like potato, potato, okay? Tomato, tomato. I don't go into compartmentalization like that. You use whatever words fit you, okay? And again, we are fully transcending words. This is the telepathic, the cosmic emerald and crystal diamond rosette network, this new diamond grid and interdimensional stargate system coming fully online. It's a telepathic grid. It transcends language. 
and lost in translation and us arguing over this bullshit, truly. Okay, so give gratitude for all that you have right now. Even if it looks like a shit show, even if you would like things to be different, just accept it as it is. See also the blessings you have, even if it's little. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It's just an experience as well as, yeah, you can wish better for yourself, but you first of all need to become okay with what is. You can't change anything you're in resistance of. Okay. So let fully go. All judgments, opinions, good, right, wrong, bad, where you think it should be, what should be happening, not all attachments to expectations. Is you fully free? It's you fully weightless. All of these thought forms, belief systems, this is what's weighing us down. Ultimately, again, connected to our traumas and wounds. That's why it's not so easy to let all of that shit go. Yeah. But the time is here now. So let it all the way go. Truly keep emptying yourself. That's all I can say right now. Truly keep emptying, empty, empty, empty. Okay, the truth is known in this field. So keep dropping into gratitude. Okay, keep letting go of all that doesn't, you don't need, literally. Keep letting go, empty yourself, let God fulfill you, the Holy Spirit. And that's you allowing God to project the new heavenly realities through you as you remember real truth. Okay, you don't need to seek it, try and figure it out. No more of that. See everything fully healed. That's how we're healing right now, especially yourself. Okay? Everything that needs to come up will come up in the process. So just fully present in the now moment. Remember, your heart's dreams and desires is God dreaming through you. Um, just a note, and I want to read that out. Directly connected to our inner child's healing, fully healing right now, okay? Our deepest wounds and traumas, because it's always connected with our inner child, is the feelings of unworthiness, that we are not worthy of love. You know, because again, we've just been conditioned that way and because we had, you know, again, we haven't been obviously risen in a reality, you know, that was conducive to us being fully whole healed people otherwise we wouldn't be doing what we're doing we're all a little bit uh, um, the wounded healer yeah Chiron but it's the best people to heal okay because we can truly relate to other people's suffering and pain and have compassion for them because we can relate to other people I mean this is us fully you know accessing our emotional body body compassion without suffering you know with them it's like empathy yeah, you, you have true compassion for all beings, how they are or have become what they are. You can see them perfectly imperfect, as well as, again, you won't allow them to run amok anymore in this reality, okay? And you bring in justice, truth, you know, boundaries, discernment, as and when you see fit and are guided to. Again, each now moment is different. But again... Us feeling truly worthy as we are now, we don't have need to anything to show for. It doesn't matter where you're at. You know, again, you need to just let go of the opinions and belief systems. As we're turning to our true self, it's not about us fixing ourselves, healing ourselves so much. It's just letting go of all of the shit that we are not. So let all the way the fuck go. Okay? Return, remember your true self beyond all of these layers, as well as, yeah, you need to work through them, feel them, release them, clear them, learn your lessons in order to get out the other end. That's how you get there. You need to feel it, release it, observe it. It's all of these things. Psh, up and out, up and out, up and out. Just don't identify with your feelings, thoughts, your experiences. Just watch it like a movie. And we're all actors here. We're playing roles. So stop attaching to your identity. Hold on lightly to everything, okay? Like playing a role from lifetime to lifetime. You're pure God, source, consciousness embodied. You cannot be defined into a little tiny body alone there's so much more okay so let go forgot to show you who you truly really are and just keep feeling it it's just a lot of this is just like again physically mentally emotionally just just final purification let it go as you no longer judge it resist it try and change it judge you know like think something is wrong with you just let it flow let it flow that's how it happens the quickest and the less painfully it's our attachment to our identities, our resistance to what is that in, that causes the suffering and pain. So this is the end of suffering and pain as you stop doing that. 
Angie. Let it go. Just sit there. Let it go. Okay. Now, let's finish this. Spirit and matter have been fully unified as one. Masculine, feminine, heart and mind. Higher, lower self, heaven and earth. Abundance is truly the love that we are. It's a state of consciousness that once you're in love with yourself, not of creation, you're literally just going to project out infinite abundance now. And it's here now. So be ready for you to truly fall in real, true love with yourself and all of creation. The love bliss fully returned through ecstasy, okay, through us, the forerunners, and the inner war. That's how you start true world peace. Come to peace with all of, like, keep putting all within to resolve all wars out there, truly, okay? As you bring everything into full alignment with real truth. Again, if you need help with this, look back at my other videos. They're truly timeless as well as my membership container with, or other just, you know, to separate group calls, activations that, again, are really, really powerful and truly assist people on their journey if you keep connecting with uh, the type of truth that I'm speaking about. So remember, your sensitivity is your true power. It's our extrasensory perception gifts, our clear senses, you know, Um. And this is truly where our power lies. These are the supernatural gifts right now that activate, ignite new earth. But you need to keep using them. You need to keep sharing them for more to come online, for you to hone them, for them to become more empowered, stronger. Okay? Believe in yourself. Believing in God. It's one and the same thing. And the divine plan coming to its full fruition. Okay? Trust it. Full and final unfoldments. And it's already underway, truly. So, this is truly where the opposition falls, is being removed, dissolves, just all of this nonsense comes to an end. Hallelujah. For this to happen, let go of all judgments, opinions, all that separates and divides us. Our attachment, identification, reform, our, identi our individual body bodies as believing that this simulation is real. Stop feeding it. Know it for what it is. It's false. It's a dream. We are awakening from. Do you want to be stuck here or you want to wake up on your own? Okay? So be very conscious of what you're feeding. True, right use of power. The power of your heart, mind, fully manifesting. Your reality is like super heightened right now, whatever you're focusing on, okay? It can instantly manifest. Everything shift and change. For better or worse, so to say. But we're focusing on the good, aren't we now? Okay, we had enough of the rest. So this is all fully leaving, dissolving. All of these fallen false timelines fully dissolved. This is it. Now. Let's shake the rest of us, Okay. Become fully fully formless and free. You at one with it all is how you ultimately let go of all separation, judgment, um, opinions, as you can see yourself in all things. Okay? Especially those that trigger us. Is always helping us to return to our true self, integrate merge with all aspects of the self, the real true self, the God self. And it's all, everything is you. You are reality, okay? So remember what you truly are. You own reality, so you keep shifting and changing it from inside of you, don't you? Not fighting it out there. So stop fighting already. This is the end, right in the end. Stop fighting, okay? God has your back. you fully secure in God's support, protection, at one with God. You know yourself as God and everything else out there. There's nothing to fear in the space at one moment. That's our true nature. That's the unity field, unity consciousness. Okay. Fully surrender into the arms of love to be freed because love is total freedom. It truly is. Real, true, divine love is total freedom. That's who we truly are. And that's why we've been seeking it. But it's here now. And you need to embody the frequency of that first. Be it totally free to be who you truly are to access these realities. Okay? I don't know more borders, no more passports, no more visas, no more travel restrictions, airports, planes to contend with, okay? Again, people have been flying. We've been test ascending. 
it's already happening again it's your perception of what's happening we are ascending this is already the revelation the apocalypse the unveiling of truth it's all here okay it's your perception again everybody perceives reality very different to the next person so again what are you perceiving from inside of you what do you know to be really true as you let go of what the outside there is trying to tell you is really true or what you should be creating okay so fully unified with your creator self that's who you are okay we literally came here to flip it all around to free us all as one as we remember we are one truly okay and let go of all that which divides us separates us from inside of us as you love it all the way up truly keep loving it up love it some more until you're all the way there wherever you are and whatever you do be in love that's from Rumi truly and it's just like whatever is happening whatever arises just keep loving it up okay and it will get you there again it also sometimes means saying no and you know pushing back and you know walking away from people it means all of these things it's just you need to just know what is really the right action and deep down we all know we don't need a guidebook we don't need anyone else to tell us okay and that is you truly you being your own greatest authority when nobody else ever again is going to steer you off your true path your destiny and keeps it keeps delaying things and keeps you distracted and whatever and all of the bullshit and interference and fuckery that has been playing out okay so that's all been dissolved now as you fully let go of all remaining fear all remaining demons fully dissolve like the bad dream that they are along with the false fear matrix okay so let's make it so the quicker you let go and keep emptying yourself the quicker we get there so to say okay so let's go of let go of the dream the false fear it was never real truly it's a liar okay the opposite is god is love you can't have it both so choose already what you believe to be really true and the truth shall set us free it is arising from within beneath and all around us that's all that's here now and it's bringing us all the way home okay love is truth and love has set us free has healed us all keep merging with this i know my heart is fully healing my body becoming pure liquid light we can't see it all just yet but it's here now and it's about to be unveiled unveiled the really truly real let's see how it unfolds we don't quite know yet um but let's make it magical highest expectations so to say as well as no attachment to them the both end okay all right I leave it here again details below in the description box saying thank you so much for anyone um again ever sent a donation and sorry for not always um or very few you know people i get back to and reply to and say thank you to but this is also why i say it here thank you so much for all of your support all and any donations big or small like share subscribe comment you supporting me and getting my message across that i know um these videos do really support people if they're really truly open and help keep shifting the quantum field in massive ways again it's you know you are so much more powerful than you believe or have an awareness of now keep accessing it from deep within truly you are reality it is you you are pure god source consciousness embodied and us all together as one are we dreaming the dream keep wiping the canvas clean okay keep emptying everything out truly it's really nice and easy and it becomes so weightless that's how you become weightless and formless and that's how you know real truth your experience is now a walking meditation okay just fully present in the now moment ptsd all of our anxieties fears doubts worries insecurities fully dissolving and the scene a tsunami of pure true divine love the supernova of the one heart mind event is when you just flow on top of it it's just guiding you all the way home floating you all the way home you know what i mean um full flow states okay nothing to hold on to full surrender to source full trust okay you just free fall nothing to fear all right truly unless you would want to make it up and we don't do this anymore okay now allow your heart 
to fully open up wide and create from there. Okay. And one of the minds, the God mind, fully online, the crystal palace activations, crystal cathedral activations, the crystal body coming fully online, the Christ star, the star born reborn, our eternal self, fully remembered again. In no time whatsoever, in the blink of an eye, everything is about to shift. Usuka, Aisk, Est, Asana, Teake. Merge with that if you wanna. Okay. Thank you so much. So much love, so many blessings. Bye bye bye.